All right, so this is Phil about a cola, and this is Mark Gonzalez, and we're talking about the first episode of Milkshake web series that we co- co-wrote and produced. Uh, opening montage. Now these opening shots, Phil. You, what, what was the what was the idea here? Did you did you have a vision for how you wanted to go around LA and just shoot everything, or? Um, There are actually two things I wanted to capture with those fun blasts of um, sparkles and lights and street lights is that uh, L.A., when I think of L.A., the impression I have is lots of headlights, lots of street lights, and I wanted to sort of, I wanted to capture an impression of that and use that as a transition point uh, whenever we needed it, and especially for title sequences. And then as, as, there's our star, one of our stars, Danny. Uh, what, what made you, how did you find these guys? I cast Ned. Um, were you there for that day? I wasn't there for that day. Uh, I don't think I met Ned until... Like, episode four. Two days, yeah, a couple of days into shooting. Um, yeah, I cast Ned. He was the first one I came in with uh, my casting director, and I had someone there as well, a, a, a fellow friend uh, of mine, Ken Stewart, and he was the first one to come in, and I, I, I knew I wanted him to be in Milkshake from the second I saw him. He, his performances are... Uh, they have a lot of audacity to them, and so I, I liked it. He's not afraid to go big, no. which I love. Yeah, well we, well, we needed somebody, you know, we wrote Drake to be a clown, which he is. Clearly, in this shot, this man's a clown. So we needed somebody who could match the energy from what we had in, in, sort of written, and he was the only one who really did it. I liked that he uh, speaks Spanish. It's amazing. He speaks that Spanish. Was, that now, was big for me. I just want to say that I think, and I, think I wrote this down in my notes, that I think this... Now, I'm okay with talking criticism about myself, because I think that this is the worst moment of Milkshake. That he was writing Fix Life on a big uh, sheet of butcher yeah, paper? Yeah, because I had no idea what the fuck I was doing, and this is the first few episodes, and I was like, I need to spell it out quickly, because we only had like 30 or 20 seconds to get this, to get this out, but I, I think it gets better. I think Milkshake gets more interesting well, storytelling-wise. As, as I recall, the genesis of a lot of this stuff is seeing a first... Because a lot of this wasn't written, this uh, opening stuff where he's filling paper, he's writing on this butcher paper. Correct. It was more out of necessity saying, wait a minute, we know this guy, and we know his problem, yeah. but you, the audience, America, Europe, perhaps? Yeah, well, we started shooting it thinking that everyone would know exactly what we were talking about. Right, and then... And we realized that we, when we watched it back, we had zero idea what was happening, so we... We didn't even know what was going on. Yeah, so. so we created this in order to just make sure that everyone knew that, L- that Lance is the one who had problems that, mm-hmm. th- that needed to be solving, uh, which plays into the character dynamic that we'd created, which was Lance is somebody who sees uh, problems and everything, uh, he, and then, uh, or obstacles, and it's Drake who sees op- uh, opportunities and everything. Mm-hmm. So, you know, uh, Lance is always talking about fixing problems, but he never actually does fix problems until Drake comes into his life or continues to come into his life. These two characters, I like how they interact with each other. They're very much um, different sides of two completely different coins. They couldn't be more opposite, and I think a lot of the humor comes from seeing them just playing with each other. But don't you... I mean, when you were, when you were writing Drake, did you ever feel that Drake is that side of you that was, who you, in a, in a way who you wanted to be at all times, the guy who was gregarious and extroverted and charismatic, but who you Confident. really were, yeah, was Lance. Yeah, he's definitely pure id. Oh yeah, I think one of the things that I really loved about the concept of Milkshake was. Uh, just driving and things always being in or near the car. And as a concept, that's really great. Production-wise, it's Very a difficult. nightmare. <laughs> so uh, you people out in TV land or people who want to make some web series, just know if you want to do something in the car, it'll take three times as long as you anticipated. Well, the big joke that I always say is, oh, this right here, this is pretty much one of the biggest laugh lines 
I huh. think, in the first episode, is that he just sees lie, and he's like, oh, I have an idea. Yeah, I'll just lie about everything. And that's what I love about Drake, is that Drake never lies. He's totally honest at all times. He, he's, I love that about him, uh, whereas Lance is the one with all the, the, the problems, and he feels like he has to lie in order to get away with things. I think that Drake challenges you to dislike him. Yeah, or you want to hate him, but you yeah. can't because of the wig. I mean, that's my theory. That it, it might all be. I think it's the hat. <laughs> so we can agree it's definitely headgear related. Oh yeah, definitely stuff on face. 